If a few years ago you'd asked me about women's sport, I might have made some crash chauvinistic joke about beach volleyball. But today I can say, hand on heart, that I'm a huge supporter of women's sport. I myself run a semi-professional twerking league, and I can assure you the commitment and skill of those competitors is second to none. Every week at the Sunday night, a donk a donk bounce off. <laughs> I see girls booty clapping and butt popping with almost unimaginable skill. I'd applaud, but honestly, you wouldn't hear it over the sound of clattering buttock flesh. <laughs> now, I realize this sounds a little like I'm mocking women's sport, and I'm not. I just wanted an excuse to say silly words relating to bottoms. I'm not sure I've ever said the word badonka donk before. <laughs> I think that after today, I won't say badonka donk again. <laughs> Even if I find myself in circumstances where badonka donk is entirely the correct word to use. For example, if I have an appointment with Mr. Badonka donk. <laughs> I'll get his name slightly wrong, so the receptionist will know who I mean. I'll have avoided saying badonkadonk. <laughs> so I might ask for Mr. Baronkadonk. <laughs> Obviously, there's a risk that a Mr. Baronkadonk also works in the same building. <laughs> and I end up strangling the wrong man. <laughs> You'd be surprised. This kind of mudlap happens all the time in contract killing. In fact, I'd say that about one in five times I end up murdering the wrong person. And that'd make me feel pretty terrible if I had feelings. But there's nothing going on behind these eyes. I suspect that's why people don't plead much with me when I start whacking them. I understand. You have to do what you have to do. <laughs> eh? I'm blessed with an infinite lack of pity. So they tend to sit quietly and let me get on with the job. Sometimes they even give me a little nod. As if they're still, in some small way, master of their fate. I was given the nod again last night when I was sitting about strangling a trainee solicitor on behalf of his fiancée. A charming girl called Alice, really beautiful and witty and just a sensational badonkadonk. He gave me the nod as my thumbs began to press into his windpipe, and I realised, my God, I know what I've seen that nod before, at the polling booth. <laughs> Poor fucking voters. You can see their backs straighten in a harrowing attempt at pride and civic duty as they step into the polling station, giving their endorsement, exercising their democratic right to get fucked over by a literally psychopathic system run by literal psychopaths. Merry Christmas. <laughs>